In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create a custom WordPress registration form and add some custom fields in that. So this is how a normal WordPress login and registration form looks like. But we are going to create a custom WordPress registration form where we will not just collect the normal email address and password. We are going to collect a bit more data using the custom fields like country, phone number, profile picture and maybe the gender. So if that sounds interesting and you also want to learn how you can add some custom fields in your WordPress registration form, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. And this video is part of our custom WordPress form series where we have already covered how you can create a custom sign-in, a custom registration form, a custom multi-tab login and registration form and a custom forgot password form and lot of other advanced features. So if you want to learn more about that then make sure you watch our complete playlist that we will link in the i button above or in the video description below. But right now let's go ahead and dive in in our WordPress backend to create our WordPress registration form with custom fields. Before we begin, we need to make sure that we have the plus add-ons for block editor free as well as the pro version installed and updated to the latest version. Once that is done, we can now go to plus settings and then click on plus blocks. And here we need to search for login and this is the login registration block that we are going to use. And as you can see, it's part of the pro plan of this plugin. So make sure you have the pro version installed. And then we just need to turn on this block and then click on save. And after that, you will be ready to use this block on any page to create our custom registration form. So for that, let's go to pages. And here we have already created our page. So here it is. Let's click on edit. So here we can start building our custom form. And in order to make things simple for you, we have already created some amazing looking form templates that you can copy from the plusblocks.com and I will leave a link for these demos in the video description below and here you can go ahead and copy any design and just use it directly on your website. So let's say I like this design here and I want to use this on my website. So all I have to do is just click on this copy button here and then come back on my page and here on the top we have the plus paste. So let's click on this and boom we have the entire form copied from the plusblogs.com on our website. And now we just need to click on this form block and here we get various form types like login, registration, login, registration in the multiple tab or maybe a forgot password form. But right now we will choose register and below this we have register section and it contains all the fields that we see here in this form. And in order to add a new field, we just need to click on this add field option and here we can choose various field types. So for this example, we are going to choose ACF because we are going to add a custom field here. So here we need to enter the key for our custom field and then we need to select the field type. So here we can choose what type of custom field we want to add and then we can define its width. Along with that, we, there are various other settings about this registration form that we can edit from here. And in order to edit its styling, we need to go to style tab from the very top. And here we get all the styling options for every element on this form. And in our first two videos, we have already covered about these form options as well as these styling options. So once again, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and watch our complete playlist from the very beginning so that you have a better understanding about the working and the styling options of this block. And just in case you want to start from scratch and build up your own design for this form so we can just get rid of this and maybe we can start by creating a container first and let's choose a layout and here we need to search for login block so this is login and sign up block so let's click on this and this is the default look of our sign in form once again we can choose register form from here and then in the register section we can start adding new fields here and then in order to style we can go to style tab and 
And after doing all the styling work, let's say this is how your form looks. So now we can choose form type as register. And in that we have various fields. So in order to add a custom field, we again need to click on add field and then change this to ACF. Let's bring it up a bit. And we cannot see anything yet in the form because we have not entered our custom field key. And in order to get that, we need to first install the plugin for custom fields. And then we will create a group of custom fields and then we will start adding them in our form here. So let's update this page right now. And now let's go in plugins and click on install new. Let's open that in a new tab. And here let's search for ACF. And this is the advanced custom field plugin that we are going to use. So let's click on install now and then click on activate. Once that is done, we now have custom fields option added here. So let's click on this. All right. So here we need to start by adding a field group first. Let's click on this and let's give it a name. All right. And below this, we can now start adding the fields. So first we have general and here we can select the type of field. So let's say we choose number and we will label this as phone number and we will leave the field name as it is. And after that, let's go ahead and add another one. And this time we are going to choose select. So let's choose this one. And for the field label, we will choose country. And we will again leave the name as it is. And here we need to enter each choice in one line. So let's say we enter a few countries here. So just for the example, we are going to enter these three countries right now. And then let's go ahead and add another one. And this time we are going to choose a radio button and we will call it gender and let's give the values as male, female and let's add another one. And this time we are going to choose image and let's call it profile IMG. And here we will choose return format as image URL so that we can use this URL to fetch the image the user will upload. All right. So once that is done, let's click on save. So here in this register form group, we have these four fields. And in order to get the key of all these fields, we just need to copy the name from here. Now, once we have created all the fields, we can now scroll down for the settings. And here we have location rules where we want to show these custom fields. So from here, we need to select user form, which is equals to all. And after that, we just need to click on save changes. So let's come back on our form. And for the first ACF field, let's say we want to show phone number here. So let's first copy the name or the key for this field and then paste it here and we will choose ACF field type as number again. So now we see the label of our custom field is showing here and in the same way, let's duplicate this one again and this time maybe we can choose country. So let's copy the key first and let's paste the key and here we will choose the select box. Once again, let's duplicate this and this time maybe we can choose gender. We will choose the ACF field as radio and here we do not see the options in the back end, but it will be visible perfectly fine once we view this form in front end. So let's add our fourth field as well. Let's duplicate this and let's copy the key for profile image and ACF field will be image. Right, let's update this here and let's open this in a new private window to check how it looks in the front end. All right. So here we have our registration form. First, we have the basic details. Then we have the custom field of phone number, then country. Here we can see the three items that we have added in the list. And then we have our radio button that is a gender option. And then we have the image upload option here. So let's go ahead and try this form and see how it goes. All right. So we have filled up all the fields. Let's click on register and it's going to take a few seconds and we have the registration successful. 
and it got redirected to our service page as we have set in the form backend. And now let's go to users to see our newly added user. So here we have our newly added user and in order to verify our custom fields, let's click on edit for this. And if we scroll down at the very bottom here, we can see our custom fields. So we have our phone number, we have our country set as United Kingdom, we have the gender and we have the profile image as we have selected while filling up the form. So you can use all this information as per your requirement. For example, if you are creating a custom profile page for the users and you don't want to use the Gravatar profile image, you can then use this profile image that we have uploaded using the custom field. So this is how we can create a custom WordPress registration form along with custom fields. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like. And in order to learn more about these custom WordPress forms, then make sure you watch our complete playlist that you will link in the i button above or in the video description below. And if you want to watch more Gutenberg videos like this one, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.